Hello everyone, this is Chuck Pham with Trend Micro, and today we're going to be taking a look at our integration between Trend Micro's Vision 1 and IBM Q Radar. We're going to quickly walk through how to set this integration up and what kind of value you can get out of that information. So starting from the IBM Q Radar dashboard, we're going to make our way over to the Q Radar Assistant. Once we go to the Assistant, we're going to go over to Applications. And let's do a quick search. We could search for uh, Vision 1, or in this case, I'm just going to search for Trend Micro. You'll see here the Trend Micro Vision 1 for Q Radar XDR application shows up. I'm going to click on that. Let's see the full description, and this should give us a prompt to install. So let's install, accept the terms. And then I'm going to take a quick pause here and be right back once the installation finishes. All right, and we're back here with the application installed. The next step we're going to do is going to be creating an authorized service for this app. So let's go into our admin console. Let's go over to authorized services. And then we're going to create a new service. Let's call this vision one for Q radar. We'll give it admin privileges for security profile and role. And then we can create the token. I'm going to do no expiration date here, but you can set an expiration date if you'd like. All right, so I'm going to save that. Be sure to save this token. This is the only time we'd be able to get this. So I'm going to copy, paste it into a notepad, and then close this here. So now we have the authorized service for the app. Next step is going to be going over to our app settings, going into the application settings for Vision 1 for Q Radar. So here it's going to prompt us for information for our Vision 1 console. So now would be a good time to pivot over to our Vision 1 console. This is the main dashboard. I'm going to go over to the gear icon here, go to third-party integration. I'm going to look for Trend Micro Vision 1 for Q Radar XDR. Click on that. And this will provide us the FQDN. Paste that in there. We have the authentication token from our specific console. And then we have the Q Radar authentication token from the authorized service earlier. So I'm go ahead and paste that in there as well. So if we had a proxy, this is where you would define those proxy server settings. And then we're going to select our data scope. I'm going to want both workbench alerts as well as observed attack techniques. And I can select the criticality of the alerts that I want to be sent over. Now I'm going to hit save. All right. So now that we have that configuration saved, let's go back over to our Curator admin console and let's give a quick refresh. Make sure everything propagates. And now let's take a look at log activity. Make sure we're getting that log data coming in from Vision 1 first and foremost. Um, I'm going to do a quick search. You can see here we now have Vision 1 OATs or observed attack techniques from the last seven days. Let's click on that. All right, so it looks like I'm getting my flow of observed attack techniques from Vision 1. Within the log activity here, I could click on these and drill down further into these logs. Here we have an unknown potential exploit attack, and I can scroll through and see exactly what's happening. We mapped a MITRE attack. But uh, a better view of this would be within the Trend Micro Vision 1 for Q Radar app that now we, we have the integration as well. So let's click on that. So you'll see here, if you guys are, are you know using Vision 1, this looks very familiar, uh, the, the UI here. We have our workbench alerts so let's go back to the past 30 days and see if we have some workbenches right so we have our workbenches here uh, we have the, the severity score the workbench id detection model that was detected and then we have the impact scope um, we also have a link to take us directly to our vision one console open up the workbench um, and we can start our investigation there we also have the ui for the observed attack techniques so let's go ahead and do Let's take a look at the last hmm, maybe 12 hours of data. Again, this is going to be very similar to the view you get from Vision 1 as well. So you have all the observed attack technique uh, detections here, the associated endpoints with the detection filters. And uh, I can expand here similarly to how I can expand within Vision 1 and see exactly what's going on. The MITRE attack techniques and tactics and have that extra visibility. Thank you.